Guys, so here's a little bit of bonus stuff. You guys saw us open stuff like this in the storage unit. Remember, it was full of cards. I just pulled out four packs of Magic the Gathering out of this box. And I'm going to insert the picture right now. You can see our, you can see our prices. Um, I, pri I priced those four packs for 90 bucks. And I sold them to my friend Robert, Collecting Dust Hobbies. Go check out his channel. You might even bust them open on his channel. You never know. But I sold it to him for 70 Robert is the only guy in this store that gets discounts on brand new sealed Magic the Gathering stuff. Other than that, I never discount that stuff because I just can't get it. But me and Robert go way back, so I hook him up. I just found him, to be honest, in the box. I didn't think it was that much value in there. And I just made 70 bucks, so I'm happy. But here, we're going to give you some bonus footage. Is this the wrong way? I'm just... No. So this box right here, it had... Uh, this box right here, it had a bunch of like paper bags on top and I just started opening it once we got the first layer of paper bags back. We actually saw there's a whole bunch of cool magazines. So not these two, but here's Rolling Stones magazines. Keith Richards, Sylvester Stallone. These are all like five, 10, 20 bucks a piece, but that's not the exciting part. So I figured you guys get a little bonus footage because I'm telling you, these boxes are just full of so much stuff. We don't have time to, uh, to go through it all. The Jewel in the Skull. I haven't checked this yet. It's number one. Can't be that bad. Challenges of the Stars. Stuff like that is cool. But not that exciting yet. Amazing World of Superman. So I haven't looked these up yet, but I have a whole bunch of these. There's probably like five, six copies in here. It's two. Then a big book, Spider-Man. Then we have two copies of this right here. This is the worst condition. Superman versus Muhammad Ali. Uh, Robert said he just sold one on eBay for 80 bucks, so I'm assuming they're worth about 80 bucks. I'd be happy with 50 bucks. Fortress of Solitude. And here's more to Superman. Superman the movie. Then we got a bunch of these in here. Ugh. Captain EO, Michael Jackson, 3D classes included. So these sell on eBay for around 30 bucks a piece. And, and I've for a bonus, Renee is gonna moonwalk. Yeah, I'm gonna moonwalk. Somebody just said on my YouTube video that I gained 10 pounds since the last video. Believe that? It's like it was only six pounds, people. Come on, get serious. But this box right here, so this is one of the boxes where I said, hey, it's just paper bag. We didn't even look at it in the storage. And I don't know if it was this last video or the video before, but you saw it in one of the couple of videos. And this is what the box looked like from the side Albus from Purified Drinking Water. But this box turned out to be from, uh, you know, hoping to get 40, 50 bucks to like, it's probably a thousand dollar box. Everything the guy had, he had in quantity. You know, these are bending a little bit. I'm, I won't put these back in here. Uh, Ring the New Year with Bad Crowd, DC New Year's Evil. It is just some kind of spell. Prince Valiant is a whole stack. It's Let's see what this it's is. Probably just a promo thing. Maybe. It's sealed. sealed. I don't know, should we open this? I don't know if I want to open it. I would it. say no. 19, yeah, that, that's not open it. Because <laughs> last time I opened up some Star Wars books, people were all mad. See, this is what I would buy Prince Valiant. The Adventures of Gawain. Then we got uh, Treyan. It's probably nothing. Seeker. Sometimes when you seek, you find. Let's see what else is in here. Prince Valiant. It's like three more copies, different ones. A couple more copies of Challenge of the Stars. Spirit. Coloring book, Will Eisner. The Spirit. Never used, kind of cool. And then there's, these are more the Stars books. Oh, here's some more, this is cool. Yasagi Yojimbo 1987 calendars. Of course signed. I mean, not 80, 87 Sakai, but it's the calendars 2003. Three of those. Those will be in the store. The movie poster or something? Meteor. Oh, is it I think it's a movie poster. I think it's something. Roma, Tokyo. Yeah, this has something to do with the movie. International box office. So it's just like showing different pictures being destroyed. Kind of cool. And then here's some more Rolling Stones magazines. I didn't even look at these yet, but let's see. We have 1981 yearbook. Jay Giles, Peter Wolf. Bill Murray, 
Carly Simon, I believe. And uh, Simon and Garfunkel. There you go. Anyway, that's a little bonus box for you. Make sure to click, like, and subscribe. And go over to my buddy's channel, Collecting Dust Hobbies. Subscribe to Tom Renee sent you. Thank you for watching. There we go. Okay, guys, remember, all this stuff will eventually end up either in our store or on our eBay site. So make sure to subscribe, like, and follow everywhere. And hit the bell so you get some Yeah, hit the bell for notifications. There's a lot of videos coming. So here's another box. There's at least 150 copies in here. I mean, you guys have seen it several times. Every one of these is signed, autographed. So I'm probably going to do some eBay listings with these. Oops, I'm bending one here. There we go. So, and these are like mint condition. I wish I could get these verified by CGC. Uh, okay. You know what? There's a box back here that says house. So I want to see what goes to the house. And you see here, here's trading cards, Megathon Man, Megaton Man. I don't think this stuff is really anything. Uh, here's vintage. Wish you were here. Those are kind of cool. Yeah. Some kind of other older cards right here. Oh. Uh, it doesn't say a year, but these look to be 50s or 60s. There's a whole box full of them right here. Oh yeah. You know, just when you thought this was a dud box, it's like, oh, I don't want to show you guys this. I don't want to waste your time. When you see stupid Megaton Man on top, which is probably super right. Everybody tells me, hey, you're an idiot. Don't you know it's Megaton Man? Oh, you got it. The Megaton? <laughs> King Kong? Megaton Man. Marvel Superheroes Checklist. Let me see what this is. Oh, wow, look at these. More of the stickers. I mean, 10 bucks a piece. No problema. Then there's this. This looks like Superman. Right, here's baseball. These are JFK cards. Batman. This box needs to go home. And then let's see what's this here. Spec sheet. These are cars. Tales of the Vikings, 1960. Wow. These are like the earliest ones I've seen so far. Oh, yeah. Are we taking this? Uh, yeah, I, I just pulled it out because I figured it's easy for you to stack. Okay, here's the football cards. I know, Tales of the Vikings. Wow, this is actually a really cool box. Uh, I might do this box on my live stream. We might go through it. We start to send stuff to Comsi, and the oldest stuff they don't care as much about condition. So even if it brings a buck a card, you know, a box like this has a thousand cards in it almost. Um, can you just put this on my front driver's seat? I'll probably have you hold this when we drive over there. Okay. But we want to see what's in the box. We want to see what's in the house box, and we want to see what's if this is another box full of your jumbo books. There's one your jumbo book, uh, the early one. It's super rare and valuable. So, I mean. I almost have a feeling we're going to find it eventually. Let's see what's in here really quick. Batman on the outside is number four. This is like a store box. Wolverine Presents number one. Oh, I think this is a good book. Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine. You know what? I'm going to pause the video. Ooh, Wolverine 2. I'm going to check these really quick. Number three. But look at the condition of these. These are like nine O's at least, if not higher. Let mm -hmm. me check really quick. 